This woman's story moved me to tears the first time I heard it. I wanted to share it with you. She got married when she was just 10 years old to a 30 year old man. Her abusive husband beat her and threw her out of the house when she was just 20 years old and nine months pregnant. She gave birth to a baby girl in a small cow shelter that was close by, struggled to get to her mother's home that very same day, but was rejected at the door. She said, I cut the umbilical cord with a sharp edged stone that was lying nearby. She did it herself. Naturally, the incident deeply affected her and she even thought of committing suicide. In the end, she started begging so that she could have enough money to feed her child. As she started begging more and more, she noticed that there were so many orphans. There were so many people who needed care and support. She started adopting them and then started begging even more so that she could take care of all these children. Gradually, she decided to adopt every single child that was an orphan. And over a period of time, she emerged as the mother of all the orphans. Till today, she's adopted and nurtured over 1,400 orphans. She's given them an education, she's got them married, she's seen their families grow. The children are not given up for adoption. She treats them as her own. And some of them today are lawyers, doctors, and engineers. She said that when she was on the streets begging for survival, she realized that she could actually be the support of so many other people who are in the same predicament. Her name is Sindhu Thai and she's from India. Today she has six organizations under her name that are making a difference in the lives of orphans. She's been invited to speak in prestigious venues and to thousands of people about the work that she's done. Her story is of true sacrifice, true selflessness, the ability to go through pain and hardships, not just for oneself, but to make a difference in the life of others. But despite all her incredible feats personally and for other people, the most powerful thing she's done I'm about to share now. Many years after being abandoned by her husband, he came back and apologized to her for the mistakes that he'd made. Not only did she forgive him, she even went as far to actually make her husband one of her orphans. She often introduces her 80-year-old husband as her eldest orphan. For her immense courage and compassion, she's received over 500 awards that she's reinvested into the building of orphanages and support structures for the children. Her story is a reminder to us all that no matter how difficult, no matter how challenging the situation we're in, we always have that opportunity to help someone else. Thank you, Sindhita.